Welcome back to the Accessible Art History YouTube channel. For this week's episode of Art History Minute, I'm going to explore one of the most famous paintings in the history of art, The Ambassadors by Hans Holbein. It is a traditional double portrait with a twist. To learn more about it, then keep on watching. Hans Holbein was the official painter for the English royal court during the rule of Henry VIII. However, Holbein was actually from Germany and was heavily influenced by an artist of the Northern Renaissance. The Ambassadors was painted in 1533 and is one of his best known work. It's a complex painting featuring a double portrait detailed still lives, and a curious anamorphosis skull. As a nod to his German origins, Holbein painted this work with oil paint. His medium allowed him to add meticulous detail. The two men have elaborate clothing, showing their wealth and status in the court. Behind them, there are a variety of objects. Two globes, a musical instrument, books, scrolls, and a rug. This represents their travels as representatives of the English king. The floor even has the same design as the floor of Westminster Abbey. The viewers are meant to understand through these details that the men represented England and King Henry VIII. The skull in the bottom center of the work is the most curious detail of this piece. When viewed straight on, it seems distorted, but when viewed from an angle, it is actually an anatomically correct rendering of a human skull. In fact, it's so realistic that it looks like it could be photoshopped. The reason for its position are a bit clunkier, but there are a few theories. One, it could serve as either a memento mori or a vanitas motif. This was common in the 16th century and represented the finality and inevitability of death but it could also be Holbein just showing off his skills. Likely, some combination of the two. The Ambassadors by Hans Holbein is a remarkable work. Not only does it showcase two historical figures, but it highlights the artist's skill. Make sure to tune in to my Friday video, where I'll be discussing Holbein and his art in more depth. 